If you're using CapCut, you need to hear this. If it's the desktop app, the mobile app, or the web version, you are giving up a lot more than you realize, and most people have no clue. So CapCut updated their terms of service on June 12th, 2025, and buried in the fine line print is something everybody should not ignore. Even if you're editing a video, not uploading anything, the second you log into your account and use any of CapCut's built-in templates, graphics, filters, or even effects, you are legally giving them permission to use their work. That's right. Let me repeat myself again. The second you're logged into your account and use any of CapCut's built-in templates, graphics, filters, or effects, you are legally giving them permission to use your work. And I mean everything. Your video, your voice, your image, even your username can be used by CapCut or any of its partners in marketing, advertising, or sponsored content. Worldwide, forever, and no, they do not have to ask your permission. They don't even have to tell you. And no, you will not get paid. And yes, this applies to free and paid CapCut users. If you're on CapCut Web, CapCut Mobile, and CapCut Desktop, and you're signed in and using their assets, it doesn't matter where you export that video, they reserve the rights to that video. What is going on with these companies? They even include a clause that said third parties can use your content unknowingly. Unknowingly? I mean, what does that even mean? That sounds like they're just covering every possible way your content can be passed or reused and you can't do anything about it. And of course, not to throw on a little bit more, but in the case you didn't know, CapCut is owned by ByteDance. And yes, it is the same company that owns TikTok. So if you're one of those people that's been cautious about TikTok and its privacy and you're using CapCut, you might already be deeper in than you thought. Look, I'm not here to scare you, but this kind of overreach is getting out of hand. If you're serious about protecting your work, you need to read these terms because they're counting on you not to do it. Personally, I think it's time to find better alternatives at this point. You deserve to keep control of your content. Take care, guys.